The top story this hour, Ethiopian Christian Church observe Ghana with religious rituals. And Orthodox Christians across the world celebrate Christmas. Hello, this is Andy's News Hour. I'm Solomon Danye. Thanks for joining me. The National Defense Forces announced it yesterday that four TPLF members have been killed in action while nine more members of the group have been surrendered. Head of Defence Force Deployment Department, Brigadier, Tesfai, Brigadier General Tesfaya Yalu, disclosed the information in a press briefing. Accordingly, Secretary Getacho, spokesperson of TPLF Group, Zera Askedon, former TV manager and director general of Ethiopian Broadcasting Authority, Abeba Askedon, head of Dimsa Wayani Media House, Daniel Asafa, former head of Tigray Finance Bureau, were killed during the operation. Meanwhile, Teklawaini Asafa, former CEO of Relief Society of Tigray, Dr. Solomon Kidani, former head of Tigray Urban Development and Adi Sambaba Transport Bureau, uh, Gebra Medhentolder, former head of Tigray Trade Bureau, Walda Georgis Desta, former head of Tigray Transport Bureau, Ambassador Abadi Zemo, former Ethiopian ambassador to Sudan, Kadusa Nega, former speaker of Tigray Regional State Council, Tedros Hagos, former president of Melis Leadership Academy, and head of effort board, Mira Teklai, legal advisor of Tigray Regional State Council, and Brahana Adam Mohammed, property and procurement business process owner, have been arrested. That's according to the Ethiopian Defence Force. Ethiopian Christian Church observed the eve of Ghana with various religious rituals and a night-long vigil. Religious fathers and the faithful who took part in the ceremony urged the public to supplicate to their respective religious teachings so as to purge their mind from evil thoughts. We mourn this story. There is religious church in the capital Addis brought together large numbers of their faithful to observe the eve of Ghana, the birth of Jesus Christ. The Ethiopian Orthodox Church spent the eve with a night-long vigil. <laughs> Similarly, the Ethiopian Catholic Church celebrated the eve with prayers and hymns. <laughs> Followers of the Ethiopian Evangelical Church of Mekana Jesus have also observed the Eve with different religious practices. <laughs> Condemning the civilian attacks in different parts of the country, the faithful approached by TV urged the public to abide by religious teachings and moral values for the country to remain peaceful. Our Lord Jesus Christ came to this earth through his birth to teach us love and forgiveness. The faithful should take note of this example. We need to reconcile regardless of race, religion and language. It is time to supplicate to our God. We have got to pray to God wholeheartedly. We all are brothers in the eyes of our Lord. God sent us his only son as a sacrifice there by blotting out the sins of mankind. So we need to learn to live together in love. We should think of the destitute and the needy while celebrating this holiday. We all are supposed to share what we have with fellow citizens. That is the true meaning of brotherhood. 
Meanwhile, in their benediction and good wish message, really religious leaders call on the faithful to translate the biblical commandments into action while celebrating the Kerna holiday. Christians are urged to live at peace with one another and with those outside the faith as just as Christ did with human beings in the Christmas season. They also underlined the need to applying precautionary measures against the corona virus pandemic. Alulata Klamarem compiled their views as follows. Amen. Bahagarachin ba Ethiopia ba Katarna ba Katama yemitunoru. Those of you who live in different urban and rural parts of our country, those of you who live outside of Ethiopian borders, we wish you a happy Christmas. The birth of Jesus Christ has a paramount meaning to all Christians, heralding unity, peace, and love. It is a bright location where the loss is found. It is also a way for reconciliation. Nothing is more palpable to preach peace and get greatest miracles than the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. With regard to the importance of unity, there is no another clearer display than the Christmas. We therefore call upon Ethiopians to contribute share in addressing the recurrent conflicts popping up here and there in urban and rural areas of our country. One has to prioritize the sovereignty of the country as well as dignity of the citizens. <laughs> Christian Memananoch Bamulu, and Quan and Legatachin, Lamadanitachin, the Yes Christos, Brahana Ludat, Basalama de Rasachu, Bamalat. First and foremost, I want to express my good wish to all Christians who celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. As we all comprehend, we got our spiritual freedom through the birth of Jesus Christ because He cancelled our sins and freed us. He then clothed us with righteousness. Jesus is not only the Son of the God. He is also our King and the Holy Savior. We are deeply saddened over the mass killings and displacements of our people who were created in the image of God. We all need to stand together to stop such evil acts, irrespective of our differences. <laughs> On behalf of myself and the Ethiopian Gospel Believers Church's Council, I want to extend my best wish upon the birth of the Jesus Christ, translating God's commandments into action. We all need to reach out to those who are in need of support due to the man-made and natural catastrophic problems. We need to show our solidarity with those who are displaced and sheltered in refugee camps and those helpless elders in various places of the country. በሰላምና በጥናት አብቆ ለ2013 ዓመተ ምህረት የጌታችንና የመዲያዲታችን የኢየሱስ ክርስቶስ ልደት በዓል Glory to God for protecting our lives and let us see the birth of Jesus Christ on behalf of myself and the Ethiopian Evangelical Church Makani Jesus I want to extend my best wish upon the birth of Jesus Christ We celebrate Christmas every year to commemorate what God has done for us We want the faithful to be vigilant against covid-19 ለመላው የክርስቲና እምነት ተከታዮች እንኳን ለ2013 ዓመተ ምህረት የጌታችንና የመድኃኒታችን የልደት በዓል አደረሳችሁ for all the fellowship of the ethiopian evangelical church and all christians i want to extend my good wish over the birth of jesus christ we celebrate this holiday under the coronavirus pandemic where the socioeconomic impact of the pandemic is visible So we need to undertake all the necessary measures as we were doing in the beginning few months of the corona outbreak. This is Adi's News Hour. A kind of hockey or in Amharic called the Yaganna Jata 
which is an Ethiopian cultural game, is said to be maintained and transferred to the generation to come. The game is played to commemorate the birth of Jesus Christ, organized in some parts of the country. Jerusalem Bazaar tells us more. <laughs> Yegenna Chwata, a kind of hockey, is among the cultural sports and games in Ethiopia. And it always marks the Ethiopian Christmas celebration, and the game can create a strong emotion of friendship, physical, spiritual, mental, and psychological satisfaction, initiating competitions between and or among families, neighbors, villages, and cities. As a memory for its religious values, a game called Yegenna Chwata has been played by Ethiopians since Christianity was introduced. The game is played with a stick much like a golf club and a little wooden ball named after the Spirur. This year, Yegen Najwata was held in Fnota Salam town in the state of Amhara. Ah. The Fnota Salam zonal administration has been working to promote the game at national level and to maintain and hand it over to the coming generation. Uh, we have been trying to promote this game and hand it over for the generation to come. This year in particular we are celebrating it colorfully. This is also an ideal incident to promote Ethiopian cultural games for the international community through preserving its cultural and religious values. Attendees of the celebration also suggested the need to protect such kind of religious and cultural games. This culture should be developed and preserved well. As an Ethiopian citizen, we have a responsibility to preserve and promote our culture than looking for external cultures. The other myth is when Jesus Christ was born, the news was heralded all over the world, and when the shepherds heard it, they started jumping with joy, throwing things around, playing different games like Yegenna Juata or hockey, and that's how the game was started. Therefore, Ethiopia has a long story to start playing Genna game. <laughs> Christmas, the birth of Jesus Christ, is marked colorfully in Lalibela Mahara regional state. Many agree that Ethiopia need to be acknowledged for preserving such ancient heritage to the world, including its charmed resources. Koshmal Sozmo. Ethiopian Christians are celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ across the country with assorted events. Lalibela is the one among the Christmas holiday market colorfully in Ethiopia. The birth of Jesus Christ Lideth is celebrated in various religious ceremonies in Lalibela. Thousands of people are gathering to attend the festivals. At the eve of Christmas at night, pilgrims jammed the church shoulder to shoulder and throng the surrounding hills. <laughs> The score of pilgrimages across the country headed to Lalivela town to attend the holiday. Celebrants said celebrating the death or Christmas at Lalivela has a special feeling. Many Ethiopian Orthodox Christians were traveling to Jerusalem to be blessed in his birthplace. When Saint Lalibela built this rock-hewn church, he received promises from God to follow us. The promise was Christians would receive blessings here in Lalibela instead of traveling to Jerusalem. So it is a special moment being here and celebrating Christmas. <laughs> Ethiopia has contributed a lot to the world in preserving ancient heritages and chants, said followers. The chant of Ethiopian Orthodox Church is known as Saint Yarid Him. While the world was in darkness during the 6th century, Ethiopia had its own literary form. Saint Yarid had contributed various religious and long lasting spiritual heritage to Ethiopia as well as to the world. Ethiopia has preserved its historical heritage and chants to the world so that it has to be acknowledged. <laughs> Followers said, while people celebrate the holiday, they should protect themselves from coronavirus and pray for peace and unity.
Yasin. Ministry of Labor and Social Affairs in collaboration with the Aldi Sababa Bureau of Labor and Social Affairs as well as the Defense Forces have the celebrated this year's Christmas at the former Army Disability Care Center, now called the Ethiopian Heroes and Children's Center. Speaking on the occasion, Minister of Labor and Social Affairs, Ergogi Tasfaya said the history of Ethiopian heroes have never been blurred in the history of the country. She said all the necessary support will be provided to the wounded soldiers who have sacrificed for their country. Similarly, Adi Sababa Deputy Mayor Adani Chabebe expressed the need to sustainably support the war victims. And finally, Orthodox Christians in different parts of the world celebrated Christmas in different liturgical ceremonies in commemoration of the birth of Jesus Christ. Ethiopian Coptic Orth Egyptian Coptic Orthodox Church priests held their annual Christmas Mass this year with very tight restrictions on Wednesday in St. Mary's Coptic Orthodox Church in Cairo's Raud Al Faraj district. Meanwhile, the head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Petr Kirill of Moscow, and all Russia led the Orthodox Christmas Eve Mass in Moscow's Cathedral of Christ the Savior. Emmanuel Jorge presents the following account. <laughs> The Egyptian Coptic Orthodox Church announced that it would only allow no more than 20 attendees, including priests and deacons, to attend the service. This decision was made due to the worsening situation of COVID-19 pandemic in the nation. Coptic Orthodox Christians make up the majority denomination of the country and celebrate Christmas on the 7th of January as opposed to the 25th December. Да поможет нам Господь в наступившем лете Его благости. His Holiness Petra Kirill of Moscow and all Russians noted that last year was full of hard trials and wished that people had learned a very difficult but in likelihood a necessary lesson to survive outer life and gain inner well-being. Due to coronavirus restrictions, this year only 350 believers with an official invitation could attend the cathedral during Christmas Eve. Russian President Vladimir Putin attended Midnight Mass this year at the Church of Nikola on Lipno Island. <laughs> Meanwhile, Orthodox Armenian Christians celebrated a Christmas Mass at the Cathedral of the Forty Martyrs in Aleppo on Wednesday. Worshippers were seen congregating and praying inside the church to mark Christmas Eve, which is celebrated on January 6, according to the Julian calendar. Before we go, a reminder of our top stories. Ethiopian Christian Church observe Ghana with religious rituals. And Orthodox Christians across the world celebrate Christmas.
Well, that's it for the news for me, Solomon Dang, and the rest of the English team here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.